Hello everyone and welcome to SE Geek, the internet's most passionate software engineering show. I am your host, the Software Engineering Geek, and today we're going to be talking about Groovy, the programming language. So sit back, download a cup of knowledge, because SE Geek begins now. Okay, today we're going to be talking about Groovy, which is one of my favorite programming languages, which I, in my opinion, is a little bit underrepresented, although it's coming up in a lot of places lately and it's becoming a lot more popular, but, you know, that's kind of why I'm doing these videos. I'm going to do some uh, tutorial videos, uh, you know, uh, on with this series, and I'm also going to do, uh, parallel to this series, I'm planning to do some very basic programming tutorials uh, because this particular vid set of videos is more meant for Java programmers, people who already know how to program, whereas like the basics one, uh, which I'm going to call like a, a boot camp uh, series, that's going to be for, you know, very just uh, basic programming skills and that'll be like a separate series. So for people who are um, not as familiar with programming, they could start with that, get some of the basic ideas, then come to these videos and dive a little bit deeper. But these videos are by no means a, uh, you know, substitute for a real, edu you know, programming education or experience. So with that, let's get into Groovy. So Groovy uh, is this really great programming language. Um, it's JVM based. Uh, you know, it has... Uh, components for like uh, scripting or just you know programming you know language in general um, basically one of the things that's really great about groovy since it's JVM based is you know you get to take uh, advantage of you know everything that's on the JVM um, groovy in particular uh, you can write full Java syntax and just you know run it as groovy or you can, you know, transform it into a groovier syntax. Kind of think how, you know, with uh, when you do something in Python, something that's more uh, within its style is called Pythonic. You know, sa same idea here. Something would be groovier. So, you know, the groovy syntax is usually much more uh, compact, uh, compact and more expressive. Um, not quite as verbose as Java. Um, so one of the trade-offs of that. Uh, is you know it's traditionally been a dynamic language which I'm going to talk about that and performance in another video a lot more I'll just touch on it briefly here um, you know traditionally Groovy has been a lot slower than Java but uh, because of some recent changes and the fact that this uh, language has been evolving a lot lately it's been picking up a lot and you know it's it's eventually going to you know be just on par with Java so it's it's very attractive in that sense uh, as a language that you know gives you everything that Java has but it's much more expressive and adds some things that Java doesn't have yet um, like uh, closures and things like that so this is just the uh, home page for Groovy, and here you can find, you know, documentation, uh, the latest releases, and, you know, download and install it from here. Um, you know, it's a good site, good resource to check out. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about this later when, we're, when I do uh, the episode on installing Groovy. Um, another uh, thing about Groovy is, uh, you know, since there's a very rich community, uh, you know, like uh, most languages, they have uh, oh uh, conferences and whatnot, and some of the conferences have been taped and not are online. This particular video uh, goes into why Groovy. Um, as I said, it's you know it's a very rich language. Uh, you know, has a lot of going for it, and I'll talk a bit more about like you know what uh, what I think are the things that are going for it has going for it. But this is another video that kind of goes into that. Uh, and is you know it's a much longer video, 45 minutes. I'm not going to be going anywhere near that long because my videos are usually shorter and more pragmatic. So moving on, uh, another video uh, by uh, Venkat, and I hope I don't really mangle his name, but Sumnamaran, uh, very great video. This one uh, he takes Java examples and shows you how to convert them and make them more groovy. Uh, 
you know, basically taking like, you know, really long like Java examples and compacting them down to, you know, almost just a few lines of Groovy. It's a very good uh, video and I highly recommend checking this one out um, if you already know Java though. Same with the next one, which this one's by Jeff Brown, uh, which is Groovy for Java programmers. Uh, a couple of things he hits on here is where Groovy syntax, or where or Java syntax and Groovy syntax kind of diverge, because there's a couple little key things to know uh, about where they diverge, especially in the realm of uh, polymorphism. Uh, and then there was uh, another place that I don't remember offhand, but this is another video. It's I think it's about an hour or so, but good to check out. Um, here is a uh, another video by Jeff Brown uh, on metaprogramming. I'll do an episode of, of, about uh, metaprogramming later, but it's going to be you know just a lot shorter, you know, just to give you like an intro and show you you know some you know pragmatic examples of how to use it. But this goes a lot deeper into that because you can do metaprogramming with uh, Groovy. It's one of the things that uh, you know makes Groovy very attractive is you can manipulate uh, programs uh, at runtime. So another uh, good resource is uh, the Groovy JDK uh, because uh, you know like uh, Java it has its own JDK that builds on top of Java. It gives you a lot of uh, just extra methods that make things a lot easier um, as seen in like collections there's a lot of things here that just uh, you know, they make things a lot easier and I'll be showing uh, some of these in uh, later videos and talking more about those uh, also same with uh, SQL uh, there's a lot of stuff uh, here as well and actually I shouldn't have clicked through with that but you get the idea moving on uh, there's also the Groovy uh, API, which these are all the things that are very specific to Groovy. And one of the things you see right at the top here is AST, which is another thing that I'll be talking about later, which is kind of like metaprogramming at compile time, which is very powerful, but also, you know, it's it's a little complex. But, you know, as you can see, there's a lot of things that, you know, you can do just with, you know, the Groovy API. So definitely a good resource. Um, one of the things that uh, Groovy has is what calls uh, slurpers, uh, specifically the JSON slurper, which is can be very useful if you're using um, dealing with JSON. There's also an XML. I think there's a CSV one as well. Uh, it's just its way of uh, its uh, way of parsing through uh, certain types of uh, documents, and it's usually a lot easier than what I've seen other types of parsers in the past. So that's a, a good resource to check out. Uh, another thing with Groovy is there's a lot of other uh, projects that are based on Groovy, like Grails, which is a web framework, which later on I might do a whole series just on Grails itself. But it's it's a very powerful framework. Um, it's uh, spring based, and it you know basically leverages Groovy a lot to you know just make uh, web programming a lot easier and you know just uh, easier to get up and running similar to if you look at uh, Django for uh, or I should say Django for uh, Python so and then there's also Griffin which is very similar to Grails but for uh, desktop development and it's uh, swing based so and one final little project uh, that I know about there's you know I know there's more than this but this is one another one of the big ones is Gradle which uh, basically takes Groovy uh, DSLs because you can write uh, DSLs very easily in Groovy and this one is one particularly for doing build scripts much more easier and cleaner and that's what Gradle is. So basically from where, where I'm going to go from here is I'm going to do a lot more tutorials uh, they're going to be more uh, coding than anything else and you know just showing you little snippets very short pragmatic um, and I think that's about it for now so I'll see you next time